Let's take a look at what we're doing in civil engineering and architecture this week. If you haven't caught into it yet, CEA is how we shorten that class name. So uh, in my courses, it's good to go to the modules. Let's look at what we did last week. So last week we did first things. If you have not completed these assignments, please do so. I will be grading these. So don't stress if you haven't finished them, but get them done because I'm probably going to start grading this like today. So uh, this will be the first grades for the year. Easy peasy. Just make sure you have them done. All right, let's look at what we're doing this week. This week, you're going to look at the history of civil engineering and architecture. Uh, this is the first week of this. We'll spend a couple of weeks in this. So why it's important, you need to recognize that civil engineering and architecture has been around for a very long time. Uh, it goes back to almost prehistory uh, compared to aerospace, which has only been around since 1903 when we had the first mechanized flight. So for this week, you are going to look at some history and get to get familiar with some of the um, the terminology and the ancient uh, features like arcs and arches and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is, well, let's look at this. Okay, so this first link is a page that's an overview and it gets you started on the assignment. And then section one, this is a list of prompts that you need to respond to in your e-notes. So make sure you're using an e-notebook and uh, you're going to answer a few questions and then turn it in on the 24th. The 25th, Using the same e-notebook, you're going to add a section header for section two, and then you're going to answer the prompts that are in this one, and then turn that in on the 25th. On the 26th, you're going to also look at the prompts in this assignment and add those to your notebook, adding a new section and answering those for prompts. Uh, I would suggest you one page per prompt to make it easy for me to grade. And then on the 27th, you'll add section four, answer the prompts on section four, and then turn that in and on the 27th, and that will be that. On Friday, we have an assignment about design principles and elements. If you took introduction to engineering, then this is a review and we're applying it specifically to architecture. And if you have haven't taken an introduction to engineering and design, you need to know the principles and elements of design. So you'll spend some time with that and then get that turned in on the 28th. And that's how I know you were here. That's what you're up to this week and why it's important.